All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to my November 2018 update video for, you guessed it, November 2018. Woo. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, I'm gonna go over some personal life stuff as well as youtube -y stuff. So let's get right into it. The first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is youtube -y stuff. So as you guys know, my editing channel, edited by the Andy San, was struck with demonetization a couple months ago due to duplicate content. Did I whole research rigmarole thing um, and had applied for monetization again at the end of October. So they say it usually takes about a month or so for them to review your channel and see if you're eligible for monetization again. So that's kind of, you know, where, we're, where we stand as far as monetization goes, but I'm not gonna wait that long to start uploading videos again. Once we get internet in the house, then I'll be able to download the new version of the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite so then we can start rolling out more tutorials. So we should be getting internet in the house in a couple weeks or so. So once we get that, once I get the new version of the Creative Cloud Suite, we'll be able to start rolling on more tutorials. So stay tuned for that. Now, as far as this channel goes, the Andy Sana Life and Video, I'm really proud of the growth that we've made so far. You know, I've only had this channel for a couple months now and I'm just really glad that it's gotten the support that it has. And it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. I felt like, you know, in some ways I had to make the stuff that was getting a lot of the, the views and not make the stuff that I wanted to make just because, you know, I felt like it. So I feel that having this channel kind of be my little experimental personal life vlogging type channel um, gives me more of the creative freedom to express those things while still maintaining the type of content that you guys like as far as like editing tutorials, talking about the creative industry, things like that with my editing channel. And also with my Andy Talks Navy channel, having a dedicated platform for that as well. Something I've been thinking about for a while now is maybe just re-uploading all of my old videos in like a mass upload similar to what I did with my, you know, the Andy San channel. Um, because, you know, it's, it's nice to have those videos up. The reason that I'm so particular about the older videos is to give you guys context as to what I've done on YouTube, you know, to show that I've been on the platform for well over a decade now, and to show the different experiences that I've had over the years that I've been on YouTube. You know, during my time in the Navy, during my time in Japan, and in other countries as well, uh, just to show those videos and to give you guys context as to who I am. But one of the things I've noticed is that you guys aren't really liking that I'm uploading them on a daily basis. So I'm gonna put it out there in a poll. So it's gonna be up in the sidebar or in one of the little info card type things. Um, would you guys like me to do a mass upload of all my old videos? Or do you like the, uh, the continuous, like, one video a day sort of thing from me as far as, like, old videos and stuff like that goes? Um, let me know in the comments down below in the boopy boop as well. Thunder's rolling around. <laughs> this is the Thunder Show. And, uh, we'll just kind of move on from there. But, uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say as far as that goes. Uh, moving on to Andy Talks Navy. Now, currently, I don't have any plans for the channel. It's a channel that I really enjoy making content for, but at this time, I don't have any plans for it. Not to say that I won't ever make videos on that channel ever again, it's just, you know, plans might change, but right now, I don't have anything planned for it. But if a video comes out that I feel like I can add my two cents to, and kind of give you guys some insight as to my own experience in the Navy and just in the military in general, then I'll be happy to do that. But right now, no real solid plans. But as I always say, plans change. So now that we've discussed all the youtube -y stuff, let's get into the big part of this video, the personal life stuff. Now, if you guys have seen my previous vlog, vlog 301, um, I have moved from Ohio out here to North Carolina to live with my brother. Now, I'm going to be living with him for several months. Um, 
The plan is for me to work and to save up money so I can move back out to Japan. So how I plan on doing that is uh, obviously get a job, which I have now. So uh, within a couple days of arriving here, I managed to uh, get a job. So right now I'm just waiting on the start date and then just go from there. But it pays very well, gets me a good amount of hours and I'm still able to work on my freelance video editing as well. So I'm really excited about that. Start saving up to move back out to Japan. As far as what I'll be doing once I'm out there, um, my plans are to go to school out in Japan. Now I'm gonna be applying to Lakeland University. They have a Japan campus out there. Um, I know that it is a two-year university, so I won't be staying there like during my entire time in Japan, because I will have to get the, uh, the four-year degree. So, my plans right now are to apply to Lakeland and once I get accepted, save a bunch of money for the plane ticket, save a bunch of money for savings and stuff like that so that way I have some money so, you know, if I need food or whatever, just something to tide me over until the GI Bill kicks in and then uh, just go to school and continue to do freelance video editing as well as other little side jobs and stuff like that. Um, typically what students do when they're out there is they do little uh, teaching English gigs on the side and that's pretty good money as well so that's something I really look forward to be doing. But I'm really looking forward to it man, you know. Um, once I get my uh, two year associates out in Lakeland, um, depending on how many credits I get from the other universities I've gone to, you know, I might have to come back to America to, uh, to finish out, get my bachelor's. Looking at it as it is, um, it's most likely that I'll just go out there for two years, get my associates, come back to America to finish out to get my bachelor's um, through vocational rehab, folk rehab. It's a little different than the GI Bill. Uh, there's a lot more legwork that you have to put into it. Uh, which is why I'll probably have to do it back in the States. Um, but it is possible to do it overseas. So again, it's something I have to really look into and talk with a VSO about. Depending on how much I get from freelance work and stuff like that, I might be able to stay out in Japan and finish out to get my bachelor's. But again, with Voc Rehab, it's not exactly like the GI Bill. Um, you do get a lot less as far as a living stipend goes. You get approximately half of what I'd get on the GI Bill as far as BH and stuff like that goes. So again, this is why the importance of having that freelance video editing work and savings and all this other sorts of stuff. And also living frugally, that's gonna play a big part into it as well. So that's why I'm gonna be working hard during these next couple months to save up for the stuff that I need so I won't have to go out and buy it later. <laughs> and also to kind of slim down my overall setup. So but as far as why I want to go back to Japan, um, why I've been so determined to do so, I've been wanting to go back to Japan ever since I left. Like, to be honest, I never really wanted to leave Japan, you know, at least not long term, maybe for like a couple months as soon as I got out of the military and then go back for school. But at the time, I didn't know that you could use the GI Bill overseas. I thought it had to be strictly American schools, and I didn't know about that until after I came back. But I am happy to be given the opportunity to come back to Japan, to make the videos that I wanna make, to expand my network, to collaborate with people in the industry, and to, you know, move forward with things, you know? It's like, you know, I'm 32 at the time of this recording, so, been a long time coming to uh, kind of get myself together and get serious about what I want to do in life you know my 20s are over <laughs> you know when I was out in Japan I was at my creative peak you know it just felt like there was no shortage of video ideas whether it was doing something kind of mundane like going to a park or going to a convenience store or just walking around my neighborhood even stuff like that you know is definitely for me video worthy as long as you put it in the right context and edit it and all this other sorts of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to doing, you know, new episodes of Andy Japandi. 
Uh, I guess it wouldn't technically be season two since I'll, I'll count like the years as seasons. So I guess it'll be like season four or something like that. I don't know. But however it shakes out, I'm really looking forward to making new episodes of Andy Japandi. Uh, those were my favorite videos to make and I'm really looking forward to making them and making them way better than they were before. And you know, just get myself back out to Japan, man, because I miss it so damn much. And I miss my friends out there. Can't wait to hang out with them again and uh, do cool things in Tokyo. Because before I was in Yokosuka and I had to, you know, take the train up there, which is about two hours or so, but I'll be right smack in the middle of Tokyo. So <laughs> no waiting, <laughs> just get right into it. So anyway, guys, with that said, this is the Andy San, signing for now. And as always, see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Oh, yes.